Oh, hey. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm literally like tightening the the ball top on my on my stick right now as we speak. Bro, it's kind of freaky how there's no audio. Why is there no audio on the attract screen? Isn't it supposed to attract you? Hold on. Let's get some lights going. Let's fix my stick. And we'll get ready for the first match of the day here, man. Um, so as always, this is the JM Cup. We're all here. Most of us playing this game for the first time. Well, not the first time, but most of us have just picked this game up this month. Uh... I played this game in the past, but I never really got good. So we'll see if I stand a chance today. Uh, our first match is going to be Pabongus versus Small. Who is Small? Member since 2016. Okay, long time member, but I don't remember them entering any tournaments before. So this should be good, man. Should be good. Let us see if they are ready. Man, there are, there are a lot of people playing this game right now. So yeah, Garo, it is part of the Fatal Fury series. Gar Fatal Fury is called Garo in Japan. I don't know why this is the only game that we call Garo. I guess in the English version, they actually called it Garo. But yeah, um, it's similar to KOF, four button game. There is short hopping, but it ain't that short. <laughs> I don't know all the mechanics of this game because, again, I haven't played it that much. Like most of the chat, I'm largely learning for the first time this month. Um, but yeah, it's vaguely KOF adjacent. But what's interesting about this game is that there's a faint system. So you can you can faint your attacks. So you see how he has this, but he also has a faint version. So you can do some pretty nasty stuff with that. So that should be cool to see if anyone can do any any really nasty combos here. Bro. And the 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 other thing about this game, so this is like the maybe this is a uh, a um, scrub take, a noob take, is that um, this is like the third strike of SNK games for two reasons. Because a, first of all, it has beautiful art. Um, other than like KOF eleven and uh, or KOF twelve and thirteen, other than those games. This might be like the best looking SNK sprite game. Um, so the art is obviously really beautiful. And then the other way that it's like Third Strike uh, is that they added like all new characters. <laughs> like, am, am I am I correct that um, Terry is the only returning character in this game? Isn't that true? Every, every other character was brand new for the game. So pretty big risk for them to do. To basically like re restart the timeline with new characters. So pretty awesome, man. No, I don't think it's a hot take, but you know, like people get mad. Dude, people are weird, man. Like when you make comparisons, people, people like to get mad to kind of like you know, signal that they're, you know, they know more than you because you're a noob, you know? Like, if I say, like, Terry is, like, the Ken of KOF, people are like, he's not like Ken at all. He's totally different. It's like, okay, sometimes we, we say things that are overly simple, you know, so that it's easier to understand. But, yeah. Dude, like, look at the, look at the, the sprite particle effect on this, you know? How sick is that, man? By the way, we're, we're still waiting on the first match here. Seems like we have a couple no-shows to start things off. Yo, Kush Nude Butt. Why? Okay, how do I go back to character select? Why did they call this guy... Th this is probably the number one thing I don't understand about this game. So this is Marco Rodriguez. This is, this is Marco Rodriguez beloved character because this is the japanese version why in the american ver or in the na version is he called kush nude butt why did they call him marco rodriguez is a perfectly normal name 
Why did they call him Kushnude Butt? It's a translation thing, but why did they do it? Why not just let him be Marco Rodriguez? What's the reason? But yeah, he's actually like the Shoto of the game. Uh, you might you might think that Terry or Rock would be the sh the the like Shoto types because they're like the protagonists, but uh, Marco just has like a straight up DP. This is like his Tatsu equivalent, and he has one of the better fireballs in the game as well. So he's probably the most Shoto y Shoto of the game. Oh yeah, Tzok. What's Tzok's name in English? Oh, he's the Griffin in Japan, and he's Tzok in English. That's interesting as well. But now they've retconned it, right? Now, now they've retconned it, and it's Tzok everywhere now, right? They thought it was too similar to another MMA fighter, which was popular during the time. Okay. I gotta say, it is pretty darn funny to be like, okay, we can't call him Marco Rodriguez because it sounds too similar to a real guy. We can't call him Marco Rodriguez. What should we call him? What about Kushnud Butt? Of all the things. Okay. We're in there. My ears? Dude, is that that high pitch whining is just part of the sound of the music of the stage? Okay, so we got B. Janae versus Kevin. Now, I don't know that much about this game's meta, but I do know Kevin is top tier, right? Uh, is that true? And I know B. Janae is top tier in KOF 15, so. <laughs> But so you can see, you see how they're glowing. That happens when you are in your your special part of the life bar. So that's another. Oh, that's a fight cade thing. Oh, emulation error. Okay. Um. So at the start of the round, instead of having selectable supers like third strike, instead you have a selectable like bonus area of your life gauge. You can put it at the front so you'll start the round with it. You can put it at the middle or you can put it at the bottom so it's like a comeback mechanic. I don't really know like if there's any kind of meta for where to put the power up. When I watch high level play, it seems like everyone just puts it at the start because you kind of want to snowball the round. But I don't actually know if there's any like advantage to choosing one way or the other. Kevin's top one, but he takes some work. Oh, okay. And yeah, just to clarify for you guys, um, this is largely a beginner tournament. I mean, we don't tell people, like, don't play if you're not a... Don't get mad and be like, these guys suck. Why are they playing in a tournament? Because uh, every month we do a different game, and most of the time, uh, people will not be that experienced. So it's, it's a learning experience for all of us here. All right, first round going to Serba Frank. This is going to be first to two all the way. First to two all the way, boys, Round one. is the plan. Fight. Depending on where you put it, it gives you a different multiplier. Okay, I did not know that. Oh, you can just defend back to the top. Okay, that's smart. Because if you put it at the bottom, that's like all you get. But if you put it at the start, you can leave it and then just defend to recover life and get back into it. That I had never thought of that. That's clever. That's clever. Got your spring semester of college done. Let's go. Congratulations. Wow, come to think of it, it's about uh it's about graduation time coming up. Coming up, right? When do when do high schoolers and college kids graduate? In May, right? That's coming up, man. So B and A, is her backdash like a short hop? That's what I'm starting to understand. I don't know anything about like any of the characters, but it seems like she can act out of her back dash, like out of the air, which seems pretty good. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Wait, people graduate in June? Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, we're playing on the fight of Cade. Oh, yeah. 
Bro, I like that guy in the back. Doesn't the this art, the stage art, kind of reminds me of Monkey Island? Anyone else? Nah, Brad, uh, the uh, entry is closed. Who? All right, match point here for Servbot Frank. If, oh wait, no, not match point. It's wait, that's over. I'm sorry, I can't count. I can't count. Servbot Frank takes it. My bad. My bad. All right, that's just winner's side. This is double elim. Next up's gonna be Teresa versus Adia. This is like a. This is almost rhymes. It's like history. It rhymes. All right, guys. We, what I'm really curious about is, will I be able to land a combo in this game? I feel like combos are pretty hard in this game, to be honest. Old old SNK games, I feel like it's pretty hard just to do combos. Don't you guys feel that way? There's no easy stuff like these days. Sad. Sad. Uh, but we'll see. I'll be keeping my character choice a secret. You know, I can't I can't give the people the info of who I'm playing. Button hold is your friend. Well, that's an interesting tip because it like buffers. I see, I see. Yeah, I'm I'm hyped for City of the Wolves too, man. City of the Wolves I think is going to be pretty fun. The thing is like even though I'm sure from what from what we know, we don't know that much about the game, right? But we people have had a chance to play it. Um it seems like they're they're obviously simplifying a lot of stuff compared to this game. I mean, that's to be expected, like they're making a lot of things easier, but there are just going to be so many uh, mechanics in the game. Like, it's 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 old school feel in terms of there just being, like, a lot of stuff to master. Like, just defend and, like, the feints and stuff. Like, it seemed, seemed pretty cool, man. Uh, City of Wolves, I don't know about beta date. I just know release date is supposed to be early next year. Early 2025. Like, Q1 2025 or something. But I don't think we know anything about beta. Alright, so we're getting our first Griffin here. Yeah, rollback beta would be nice, man. Just to make sure that things are, you know, working. So Rock is... he Rock is like the protagonist, right? Rock, Rock is like the main character of the game. And I think he's pretty cool because he's kind of like a mix between Terry and Geese. Oh my god, command grab. Oh my god, come at let's go, Teresa. <laughs> Teresa's popping off. Oh, nice guard cancel. Guard cancel. That is a mechanic in this game. Bro, look at look at T-Zox's animation. Oh, footsies. Look at the the smooth animations, man. But I think fam famously, Rock has really cool animations, and like famously, Rock's jacket is like really cool to look at. Like, oh my god, the command grab! Like, if you just watch what Rock's jacket does during his moves, it's really cool. It's like getting blasted around and like all kinds of like shock waves going through it. Bro, bro, day one, day one grappler. Day one grappler syndrome. Ooh! <laughs> oh my god, chop! <laughs> Zangief standing medium punch. Let's go. Best looking Neo Geo game. It's gotta be up there, man. What's the competition? Like, Last Blade 2? It's gotta be up there. And like, isn't it? Okay, so I was, I was doing some research the other day. Can you guys correct me if I'm wrong about this? Is this literally running on the same hardware as like original King of Fighters? It is, right? Because they're both MVS, right? I don't know that much about Neo Geo, so I don't... I don't know if it was a situation where like... Because, you know, Capcom, they had CPS 1 and then CPS 2 and CPS 3. 
But Neo Geo wasn't like that, right? They just had the MVS, and it was the same for like all the 90s. Isn't that insane? Like, look at how much better this looks. Yeah, KOF 94. Are there, there's probably even older. There's probably even older games that were, ran on MVS, right? I know, like old Fatal Fury wasn't on MVS, right? All right, we're getting so signs of life from Adia here. We like to see it. Same as Fatal Fury One, really? Wow, I didn't know Fatal Fury One was on the same hardware. That's crazy. Yeah, that's actually insane. That's actually crazy. Yeah, maybe, did the carts have more memory? I guess that would make sense, right? That wouldn't surprise me. Sure, surely the carts had more memory, right? This is 3D converted to pixel by hand. Is that true? I know that's the thing for KOF 11, or KOF 12, I mean. But is that true for this game? I would have thought that this was too early for that. <laughs> Lose game one into pick a top tier. It do, it do seem to be like that right now. Yeah, bigger bigger memory on carts. Yeah, that makes sense. But still. But still, that's pretty insane. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Teresa? Oh, oh footsies. I do like how everyone has their own round icon. Mark of the Wolves runs on the newest MVS at the time, but what I'm saying is, wasn't there only like one MVS hardware? And they just swapped out the cartridges? Oh my God, the 360s. Oh my God, the 360s, hold up. Hold up. Guys, day, day one grappler season. Oh my God. The, the, the day one grappler effect. Oh my god, he's busted out of the clothes. Day one grappler effect might be too powerful, man. Might be powerful. It's known for pushing the graphical capabilities of Neo Geo. Pre-rendered 3D graphics rasterizes sprites. Well, there you go. I guess like Final Fantasy VII type thing. They did, they did that as well, right? Like all those old Final Fantasy games, really. You could buy this cart for your stinky old system. I mean, that's pretty amazing, right? It kind of it kind of goes to show like why Neo Geo was so successful overseas. Cuz like imagine how much arcade operators would save. I mean, I know in some countries it was even more common to like have pirated carts, but yeah, isn't it crazy that like they could just have MVS and then it's like, okay, new year, new games, just buy the cart. I know the carts were expensive. They were like hundreds of dollars, but still. It's pretty impressive, man. All right, we're going, we, we got the next match already. It's Mr. Mixtape versus uh, PP Fight Bix, which I think is the um, fightcade name of ducking. So it's Mixtape versus ducking. All right, we got Marco versus B and A. B and A, awfully popular, huh? More like Donkey Kong Country. I guess that's true. Yeah, that's another one. Oh my God! Ooh yeah! Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, everyone's just saying butt in chat. I don't know who you guys are talking about. This is Marco Rodriguez. Marco Rodriguez. Oh, there we go. Invincible DP. Oh my god, that was a juicy cross-up. So where where do you got where's Marco Rodriguez from? Is he Mexican? Is he like Dominican or something? Because Kush Nude Butt sounds like it's from a different place than Marco Rodriguez, is all I'm going to say. Yeah, Ch Chip is definitely a factor. Chip is definitely a factor in this game. But yeah, we haven't seen it too much yet because, again, this is largely a beginner tournament. Um, but there is just defend in this game. If you block at the last second... 
Uh, you will get better frame data, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Better frame data, less pushback, and healing, right? It, or maybe it doesn't affect the frame data. I'm not sure. But here's something I don't know. Because, I, I, again, I'm, I'm also a beginner to this game. Can you just defend in the air? Because I know you can do that in CVS too. But you can't in this game, right? There, I think there's no air blocking whatsoever in this game, right? Ooh, ooh. Oh, just meaty sweep. Ah. It removes a couple frames of block stun. It's not much, but you can guard cancel. Okay. Wait, you can just defend in the air? Yo. Okay, this game is deep. This game is deep, man. Yeah, so it's the same as K-Groove in CVS2, right? Because in K-Groove, you can't air block, but you can air just defend. Sheesh. Oh, that was so meaty. I thought he was going to get a combo after that. Bro, the, I mean, just the the way that their clothes blow back when they do fireballs and stuff just looks so good. That's crazy. Is that a bear back there? Oh, yo, wait, is that Chang's Wrecking Ball? <laughs> Guys, you don't think. Oh, the Chombo? Okay. Mixtape is looking clean. Mixtape is looking clean, as as usual. That I mean, that's it already. Holy cow, first to two is going fast. But that's good, because I, I have a hard out at, uh, at 8 Eastern, so... So even even if we're still in grand finals, if grand finals is still happening in two and a half hours, I'm out. But I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, all right, all right. Next up, perfect orange versus pretend death. Let's see. Does does perfect orange have some secret tech, as per usual? Saved up for these tournaments. I'm curious to see. Uh oh, we're getting we're getting conflicting conflicting reports in the chat. Either you hit A, B, C, or D when you land, or you hit down down. Who's to say? Hold on, I'm gonna look up Marco Rodriguez. Uh, S and K. <laughs> it just says Marco parentheses butt. <laughs> Um, oh, he's Brazilian. I guess I should have known that. Favorite music, Samba. Interesting. All right. Oh, we got another t -Zoc. Okay. t -Zoc versus Kevin. Wait, is ABCD as in all four buttons? Is there a Shoto? Uh, Marco Rodriguez is a Shoto, but Terry and Rock have Shoto elements. But Marco Rodriguez is the most is the most Shoto E. Oh look at this pressure. Wait, hold up, hold up, whoa, hold up, hold up, ja yo, you're gonna get guard broken, my dude. Oh my god, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Threat identified. Neuron activated. Oh my god, that was so much damage. Oh, the meter build bug? Oh, see, I don't even know about this. Guys, threat threat identified. Come on, get in there, pretend death. Land those command grabs. Oh my god, that combo. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, guys, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. How do you not... I mean, I guess you have to guard cancel, huh? Oh, wait a minute. Just match 360 on guard break. I respect that. That was so much damage. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tough first game, but you know, Pretend I've almost had that round. Oh, we're getting a switch. All right, we're going to we're going to Marco Rodriguez. I'm not calling him the other thing, guys. I'm not calling him the other thing. Look, the game says Marco Rodriguez, guys. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. The, bro, the damage is crazy. Ooh, wait a minute. Chance? Marco is in power-up mode. I forgot what it's called. Oh, wait a minute. Did that trade with DP? Okay, raw super. I respect it. That reminds me so much of like Mr. Karate Super from KOF. Oh, well, actually, I guess it, Rio has that too, right? I know Marco and Rio are like pretty similar. Bro, what what is bro cooking? Okay, nice. DP. Hogan. Okay, nice. We'll jump in, hit confirm. Bro, he is cooking. My man is cooking right now. KO. That's it, man. I mean, this is going so fast. I don't know what to say. The rounds are over so fast. <laughs> That's hype, though. I like it when it goes fast, man. I like it when it goes fast. Less, less stress to get through the matches quickly. Let's go. All right, next up, Gundog versus Chill Jam. Oh, apparently PK Blue is called Chill Jam now. I see. And PK Blue has a Say Jam Chill Penguin avatar. Okay, I understand. Bro, not the not the Say Jam avatars, man. They're taking over my Discord server now. Not the Say Jam avatars, bro. Marco was the first Muslim character in SNK games. That's he's he's a Brazilian Muslim. That's interesting. All right, where are these guys at? Where are these guys at? There are Kevin Band tournaments. Oh, that's interesting. I I have heard I have heard that Kevin is somewhat problematic. I have heard that. All right, here we go. PK Blue versus Gun Dog. Oh, hey, first time seeing um H Hokutomaru. Oh, now that is that is a 3D ass helicopter. Oh my god. That is that is a Donkey Kong Country helicopter right there. Oh, that's a 3D shuriken too. Okay, now I'm starting to see all the 3D elements. I guess they must have done it for the sprites or like the hit hit sparks too, right? That's why they look so crazy. Bro, how many people how many people grinded Kevin before this tournament? Oh no. How many people grinded Kevin? Are we is Kevin grounds for banning? No. I mean he's legal in like all the real tournaments, right? No. Plus it wouldn't be fair to people who spent the last month practicing Kevin. Bro, the shurikens. Ooh, okay. Ninja stuff? Bro, I have no clue what this character does. Whoa, low profile. Oh, let's go. That's like, um, that's like, what's his name from, <laughs> that, that's like Subame Gaish from, uh, the Sam show. But it wasn't enough. Already that's game one. Holy cow. Bro, that's crazy. Who's more obscene, Garu, Kevin, or Third Strike Chun? The thing is... Obviously, Third Strike Chun is overpowered, but she's overpowered in such a boring way. You know? Kevin appears to be overpowered in some very spectacular ways. Like, he builds infinite meter and then he one touch explodes you. Chun, Chun just has, like, the best moves, you know? Oh, 
Ooh, the jumps. The pressure. Yeah, Kevin doesn't even need to get a hit. He doesn't even have to get a hit. He just kills you on block. Ooh, nice air throw. Kevin's related to another character. He looks like Rao. Or like, at least they have the same outfit. Oh my god, the Damai. Ooh, I like the instant air shuriken. I'm a fan. I never see anyone play this character. Ooh. Got him. Oh, he's related to Blue Mary? I guess I could see it. Yo, the cross-up Subame Gaish. The challenger. Oh, by the way, guys. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll talk. I'll do my plug after the match. Guys, one to one. One to one. We're in it for real. Ooh. Confirm. Bro, how is he so fast, though? He, he is schmoovin'. Bro. PK Blue low key kind of zoning Gundog out here. Just long range pokes. Look at this. Some. Ooh, and that combos? Uh oh. Uh oh. Air reset, unsafe on hit. This match point PK Blue, guys. You guys are saying pick Kevin or win. And yet. Whoa, you. <laughs> Yo, solid snake. <laughs> Solid snake. Okay, that hit on the back. That's cursed. Oh! Bro, PK Blue is evolving. I don't know what that was, but it was sick. Ooh. Ooh. Bro, PK Blue did it, man. Gundog the losers. Eat the eat the dynamite, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Yeah, that that super did crazy damage. All right, all right. Wormy versus Tebs is up next. Let's go. Let's uh, go. Dude, this game is so beautiful, man. Yeah, there have been uh, several characters we haven't seen yet. Curious if we'll see the whole roster here. Are the boss secret characters allowed? I don't know. I think if they're not enabled by default on Fightcade, they're probably not allowed. but I don't know how it works. All right. Oh, we got Kane. This is the this is the Rugal of the game. <laughs> Versus B Janae. I've 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 heard that uh that this character's really fun. I've heard that he's very very fun to play. Dude, this song is so iconic. Is this B Janae theme? <laughs> bye bye. Bro, wait. You going kind of crazy with it? Whoa! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, he's going kind of crazy with it. Wait a minute here. Bro, what's? What is he cooking? Oh, he fixed the tie? 
She said, Halo. He has unblockables. Okay, okay. I'm getting excited, guys. I should have picked this character. Wait a minute. He's the aerial zoner? Wait. This character looks sick. Was I in the background of somebody's getting... I if, if you're talking about like the like the famous clip, no, I don't think I was there. I have been at tournaments where that song has been invoked. But if you're talking about like the famous meme, I don't think I was there. I I mean, maybe I was. I was at a lot of the same tournaments those guys were at, but I think I would remember if I was in that meme. I'll watch it. I'll watch it after uh, after the tournament. We'll find out. I also wasn't bald back then, so if it's a bald guy, then no, it's not me. <laughs> Bro, it's match point worm now. I don't even think I had a beard back then. I think I had I had hair on top of the head and no hair on my face. How crazy is that? What a world. Oh my god, thrown into the My man just comboing off throw like it's nothing? That just defend was insane, though. Wait a minute. Bro, what is... What is all this, then? Okay, orb. Oh, no, not the orbies. The chip is crazy. That... Bro, okay. New threat detected. A new threat detected, guys. I don't know. You guys are all worried about Kevin, but this guy's looking like the villain right now. This guy's looking like the villain. I don't know. Uh-oh, guys. It's my turn. It's my turn. I have to fight Pabungus. Pabungus Walt. Kane looking like he'll take it. Guys, come on. Every time someone does well on stream, people are like, oh, this guy's going to win for sure. God, what if I win? It could be me. I could win. It could happen. We're about to find out. All right, guys. You guys know I have to go classic with it. Grant is is that allowed? Is this allowed? Can, can I can I consult the uh Can I consult Moon and I assume this must be allowed, right? Oh. Is is that plus? What? All characters are allowed? All right. Oh, that trade was epic. I tried. I tried, boys. Okay. When in doubt. <laughs> when in doubt. Okay. Are you okay? Okay, he fell out. I guess he is okay. Okay. Are you okay? Okay, where well, that hurt? It's fine. I, yo, I DP'd on like 18 wake-ups right there. I DP'd on like 18 different wake-ups. Let's go. Bro, I don't even know how to pick that guy.
Okay, no punish. No! That was so insane. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of getting owned now, boys. My strat has fallen off. Bro, what are these trades? Miss my DP. Okay. Okay. I can still do this. Oh, backdash. That's a good idea. Chat coming through with the tips. Terry. Terry Bogart. Okay, we're dropping every combo. It's fine. Damn, that sucks. No, my inputs. Okay, okay, it's match point. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No. No. Okay, we actually did a combo. That's plus. Okay, it's match point, double Luigi. I'm so salty. I'm so salty. I feel like I got gimmicked, man. I feel like I got gimmicked. I didn't know how to deal with all those jumping around shenanigans. All right, GG's. 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 I'm salty. I'm salty. I thought I had it, man. I didn't know it, bro. He was just jumping around. I got knowledge check. That's what I'm saying. Bro, I, I only know how to play footsies. Got to use super. I, I will say I was trying. I was trying to super. All right, boys. We got owned. Hit the SRK wiki. True. True, true. Bro, I don't know what to do. He goes up into the sky and comes down like I'm, I don't know what to do. All right, next up. Uh, who is it? Next up, Teresa versus Mixtape. Just Defend is my friend. Guys, I don't think I'm getting Just Defends, man. This is a beginner tournament.
Wait, what do you get off counter hit burn knuckle? You get a combo? I didn't know that. All right, first Hotaru of the day versus the Griffin. Yeah, it has uh, it has faint canceling. All right. What did he say? What did he say? Yo, we're head stomping. <laughs> okay, air throw into the corner. Yo. Bro, okay, now this now this is a gimmick. Okay, wait, I take it back. I did not get gimmick. Th th this is this is the true gimmick. Hold on. Wait, Rising Tackle? Does he have Rising Tackle in this game? I thought he had Power Dunk only. Yeah. Bro. Bro. Okay. I'm so glad I'm not fighting this right now. Bro. I would be getting way more tilted. I would be getting way more tilted if I was losing to this. Brother, mixtape, this is this is some true gimmicks right here, man. Guys, chat's chat's trying to backseat me with moves that my character doesn't even have. Come on, guys. Damn, this guy is buff though. You have to admit. You have to admit. Would I believe you if you said Hotaru is mid tier? Uh, yeah, of course I would believe it. But I mean, these are gimmicks. People don't know how to deal with gimmicks. It's a beginner tournament. Ooh, nice. Just defend. Brother. This is tough. This is tough. Yeah, that's true. If you miss a just defend, you just get a block. She has that Athena backdash for real, for real. But that that head stomp is so funny. H have we done Waku Waku 7? We have not, I don't think. Maybe someday. We could do it as a fight kid frenzy too, but I'm worried it's too well known. I'm not sure. Subaru. Bro, that's it already, right? Mixtape takes it? With the ferret on the shoulder? I know, man. The grappler got command grabbed. All right, Mixtape continues through on winner's side. Next up is Wormy versus Audioles. Man, it is, it is bright out, guys. I'm not, you know, I always complain when it's the winter. When it's the winter and, like, it's dark all the time and sun sets at, like, 3 p.m. I always complain, but now that it's, like, now that it's getting uh, more daylight hours, I'm like, oh, the sun. There's too much sun. Take the sun away. My eyes. Yeah, Waku Waku 1 through 6. That is actually something that confused me for a long time. I actually didn't understand why they called it that. Oh, our first... Oh, wait, no. Not our first rock. Of course, we've seen rock already. But Kane is back. This, I mean, guys, we identified that the Worm Kane may be one of the more dangerous threats in the tournament. Let's see if that comes true. Holy cow, Rock is schmoovin'. Ooh, the command grab. Yo, look at that. Uh, is that a Pontiac Firebird? Yo, look at that bad boy. Or is it a Corvette? Ooh, bro. 
This character looks sick, actually. He kind of, to me, he kind of, he looks like one of those characters where, like, you just have to do a lot of inputs, right? Oh, double just defend? Hold up. We got ourselves a real match here. Wait, family battle? I thought Rock was Geese's son. Am I wrong? Uh-oh. Ooh, trying for a parry? Oh, wait, is the yellow car a 50s Corvette? Bro, these are some cool cars, man. Shadow frame. Shadow frame. Oh, no, not the orb. Oh, backdash directly into the Orbeez? Okay. Kane is his uncle. Ah. Is is Rock actually Geese's son, or did I just make that up? Round one. Ooh, yo, the guard cancel that. Ooh, he's trying. He's trying. Rock is Geese's biological son. I see. I see. Ooh. Yo, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shadow frame. Ooh. Nice break. Holy cow, that was so much. Safe jump? Oh, not quite. Oh, rising Takuru. Is that a charge input in this game? Repukain. Ooh, got past the the falling meteor. No, not like this, Audios. Not like this. That's three fireballs in a row and the Orbeez. Nice just defend to stay alive, but now you're dead. It's match point worm. Oh, no. Repukin. The old game's voice acting was so good, man. Back in the day, man, like this game and Third Strike have such iconic voice clips. They don't make them like this anymore. Oh, and look at... Oh, but you backdashed into the Orbeez again. Oh, super through, but it doesn't work. <laughs> GG. That's tough. That's tough. Bro, my man is cooking, literally. Cooking with gas, man. Jeez. Jeez. All matches from here on out will be on stream? Oh, wow, because we're done with the first two rounds of losers already. Holy cow. Holy cow. We are burning through this tournament. Okay, this is awesome, man. <laughs> I'm excited. A hold, start, highlight, dong, Juan, input, up, up, down, down, up, that Guys, I'm not going to pick Grant. I'm sorry. We're going to make it happen with Terry or not at all. Terry or not at all. All right, where are these guys at? Pabungus and Surabot Frank, where are you guys at? Dude, Terry is just so hype, man. Terry just he's got he's got that attitude, you know. Oh, someone asked what what am I drinking? Uh it's barley tea, man. I've been I've been drinking a lot of barley tea. I like it cuz you don't I just brew it overnight in the fridge so I don't have to like pay attention to it. And then it tastes pretty good. Oh no. The, not the grant. Not the return of grant. Hoi. 
Oh yeah, you gotta watch out for that. Oh yeah, you gotta. Okay, let's see how quickly Serbot Frank can learn the knowledge checks. This is Japanese version, so he's Marco Rodriguez. Ready, round two. Oh, the overhead. You get real damage off that? Okay, that's cheap. That's cheap. <laughs> Reversal super. Oh, that's so much damage. Oh, what? good block on the overhead, though. Double overhead on the jump in. Wait a minute. Oh, don't get chipped. Yeah. Chip is such a threat, man. Chip is such a threat. Tzok or Griffin? I mean, it's like canonically Tzok now, right? Aren't they? Isn't he Tzok in all versions now? So I guess I go with that. But I don't know what the status is of Marco Rodriguez. I don't know if his name is canonically still different. Ooh, wow, got to the other side somehow? Dude. Pabungus is cooking, man. Grant, Grant is looking pretty good. Ooh. Bro, Ochina. So that's the that's one of the moves that I was struggling the most with is that rush punch. Is that really plus? Is it really Grant's turn after that? That seems cheap. I mean, I know Terry has a lot of. Oh my god, that was the quickest alt F four I've ever seen in my life. It's Marco Rodriguez globally now. Okay, understood. Understood. All right, next up. Oh, GG, by the way. GG. Pabung is continuing to wreak havoc. I see, I see. Next up is Perfect Orange versus Chill Jam, who is secretly PK Blue. Griffin actually matches what he looks like. What's a Tzok? Yeah, but, like, you shouldn't just be named after what you are, you know? Like, I don't go in there, my name is, like, Bald Guy. <laughs> People have names, you know. <laughs> also, Tzok is probably Mexican for something. Mexican. It's probably Spanish for something. I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe I just called it Mexican. I'm, I, guys, I'm, I'm learning Spanish as we speak. Very, very slowly. My New Year's resolution was to learn Spanish, but God, I'm bad at it. And then I keep getting distracted. I kind of want to learn Chinese too. I'm getting my attention is being split, and I still want to improve French, even though I'm pretty good at French. I don't want to forget it, and I still want to get good. There's too many things, man. Tzok literally would be a Mexican word, what is like Mayan or something? Yeah, guys, I don't know Spanish. I only, I only know, I, I only know the basics in Mexican. Hablo solo, <laughs> hablo solo Mexicano. All right. Wait, no way, mirror? Bro, uh, uh, Ho Hokuto is cooking? Oh, Mexico's Aztec, guys. I'm clearly, I'm so ignorant. I'm sorry. I'm displaying, I'm displaying all my ignorance today. I apologize. Bro, the double, double overhead? Bro, this character is looking... He's looking a little goofy, man. Yo, 
<laughs> okay, double overhead is cursed. Double overhead is so cursed. <laughs> yeah, this game actually has a lot more like grime than I thought. The IB sprite is like really good. <laughs> Ibuki before Ibuki? What? This was after New Generation, right? Didn't didn't New Generation come out before this? Bro, these guys are. Th this is like a caffeinated child, dude. He's just hopping off the walls. Bro. Okay. Oh. Ah, y a, y a deux Français dans ce chat maintenant. Mais faut demander. Uh, vous êtes Français de France ou Français de Québec? Je sais pas parce que en France, uh, il est plus tard. Uh, il est très tard en ce moment, n'est-ce pas? Minui? Say Minui? Alright. Bro. We got the character change. Gato. This is. Now, this is the character. I don't know anything about Gato in this game. Um, But in KOF 15, this character is a menace, bro. This, char this character is a menace, menace. Oh my god. But it might not matter. It might not matter. Oh, les deux, les deux sont sont français. Qu'est-ce que le mot correct? Um, met Metropolitain, c'est ça? C'est ça qu'on dit? Je sais pas. Omelette du fromage. True, so true. You're brave for saying it. <laughs> Wait, is Ga Gato is just an anagram of goat? They knew. They knew. Bro, perfect is cooking with this little Gato equals cat. I don't know about that, guys. I don't know about that. I think it's more like <laughs> it's more likely that it's an anagram of goat, guys. Come on, the that was cheap. I don't know. Sete vilain. <laughs> uh, you know what's interesting is in French they don't actually have a word for cheap, like inexpensive, right? You guys can the 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 Francais in the chat can correct me, but isn't that true? There's no word for cheap. You can say that it's expensive. It's it's cher, but cheap is just pas cher. Um, or you can say it's like a good deal. But you can't say that it's cheap, which is kind of interesting. It's like a weird gap. Speaking of a weird gap, Teresa versus Tebs. I'm saying it's a gap because I totally got gapped and missed that the match had started already. All right. There's no word for cheap in Italian? Oh, so interesting. Is there a word for cheap in Spanish? I'm pretty sure Gato is Japanese in this game, right? But again, I don't know anything about... The lore, so. Say cheap? Oh. Ça c'est trop cheap. Qu'est-ce qui se passe, ça? C'était trop cheap. That's great. <laughs> oh, nice overhead? Wait a minute. Barato is cheap in Spanish? All right, let's go. <laughs> el, el Griffon Barato. Está aquí. El Griffon. So I keep... <laughs> I keep forgetting that in Spanish you actually pronounce the ends at the end of a word. In French, the end is like always not really pronounced. 
bro. She is going in. Wait, it's it's lore spoilers to know that Gato is Hotaru's brother. Dude, there I feel like the the story in SNK games is always very like soap opera. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Yahoo! Oh, there we go. 360. Let's go, Therese. Listen, full bias. Full bias, okay? I want the grappler to win. I, I want the grappler to win, man. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, look at that. The little shimmy. And then, oh, but it seems like, it seems like Griffin doesn't have enough frames. To get a meaty after SPD. That's what it seems like. Have I been eliminated? Not yet. But I'm I'm 0 and 1. I am 0 and 1. I'm not looking so good right now. All right, we got the character change. Wait, is this our first time seeing this guy? Kim Jae Hoon, who is Okay. This is not the same character as Kim Kapwon. I I guess in retrospect that's a ridiculous question, right? They have different names. But they're both named Kim. And they look similar. Wait, they have such similar moves too. Okay, guys, give me the soap opera lore. Are they related? Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, empty jump, yo. He is cooking right now. The Griffon. El Griffon. It's his son? Aha. I see. <laughs> it's the boring son, the cool one is Dong Oh my god, the 360s. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, t jab is looking a little bit crazy, don't you guys think? Ooh, let's go. Bro, Teresa takes it 2-0. The Griffin. El Griffon. Yeah, I know in, in French, if I'm like scribbling something, we say Griffon. N'est-ce pas? Or, or gri Griffé? J'ai Griffé un, un truc ici. Dong has better mix. Jae Hoon has better pressure. I see. Kim is Ryu. Dong is Ken. Ah. Dude, there's so much lore. There's so much lore to absorb. Clearly. Oh, wait, guys. I, I haven't done the plug all day. What am I doing? Hold on. Let me get this match going. It's Audios versus Adia. Guys, let me just remind you that the beautiful Don't Get Grabbed pint glass is currently for sale on jamcroftsmerch.com it's a limited run of a hundred and once they're gone they're gone so if you're interested in a don't get grabbed a cabbie the arcade cab oc do not steal jamcroftsmerch.com what just happened i think they restarted Eclair um, pavit. Yeah, yeah, it's like scribble or like jot to jot something down in English is what we would say. On l'utilise que très peu, mais. Tu as raison, mais. Moi, je. Je ne connais pas beaucoup de mots, alors euh, faut, faut que je, je fasse ce que je peux. I hope that I had correct grammar there. Um, yo, Audio's kind of cooking a little bit with Rock. Kind of cooking. Ooh. 
Repukin. Bro, the run animation is so sick. Not more people playing butt. That's true. I think there were a few early on, but I've, I feel like most of the people who picked Marco Rodriguez, let me just use that name. Um, most of the people who played Marco seem to be more on the beginner side, I think, because he's like the the most Ryu-like of the game. So we've, we've had a few, but not lately. No, I'm not French, but I've studied it off and on for a long time. I'm going back to France for Red Bull Kumite. That's gonna be that's gonna be my <laughs> my big uh, I don't know triumphant return. So hopefully I'll hopefully I'll be good at it by then next year. Bro, he's so cool, man. He's so cool. The wings, that's so cool. <laughs> Super Longion. Okay. Okay. You know what French word I think is really, uh, well, I don't know if it's hard to say, but like, I have a difficult time saying is cacahuete. Cacahuete. Beurre. Beurre de cacahuete. Of course, the most, the, the most difficult word to pronounce in like every language is squirrel. Squirrel in English, like, <laughs> bro, like German people and French people can't pronounce squirrel at all. And then in French, it's écureuil, which is also pretty hard to pronounce. What's what's squirrel in Spanish? Help me out. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn I'm gonna learn Spanish through stream chat. Could I not? Bro, rocket. Rock is kind of, could this be our first time out of the tournament? <laughs> She's mad. <laughs> Match point audios. Ardia. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that one's not hard to pronounce though, so it breaks it breaks the cycle. Unless I'm pronouncing it wrong. You just say super onion? Wait, what? Super onion? <laughs> really? Wait, I have to say, huh? I have to say, streak, holt, hock, selken? I'm sorry, guys. That's tough. Bro. Audios is cooking through the bracket with this rock, man. Everyone's saying this character's bottom tier. Everyone's saying this character's bottom tier. Yo, Irish pronunciation? Yes. Irish pronunciation is crazy. Like, people say that French pronunciation doesn't make sense, but Irish pronunciation, like, like, Siobhan and stuff? Bro. I only know, like, Irish names. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know real Irish words. I just know, like, names. But yeah, like, the spelling on that. Is so crazy. The fact that Rock could win the tournament is crazy. Well, keep him. It's a beginner tournament. It's a beginner tournament. It's a beginner tournament, you know? All right. Me versus Farabo. This is my last chance, guys. I got to I gotta win this or I'm out. Ardia. Is that not what I said? Did I say it different? All right. 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 We're fighting for our lives here. Jerry Bogart. Round one. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Whoa. Did that punish? Let's go. That's unsafe. I need to not do that on block. Am I the only Terry in the tournament? Ooh. 
Ooh, okay. I'm starting to see the vision. <laughs> okay, guys, I landed one combo. I landed one combo, okay? I said at the beginning that that was my mission. I said at the beginning my mission was to land a combo, and I did it. So, no matter what happens from now on, I'm in the clear. Nope, bro. Why is this DP such a bad anti here? Okay, I tried. Okay, wait, I'm kind of getting cooked. What if I just do one? Never mind. I'm jinxing it. Guys, listen. No matter what happens, I can be happy. Oh my god, why can you run through people in this game? That's so cursed. Uh, I should have hit confirmed that. I'm sorry. That's unsafe. Whoo! Kick that! Kick that! Bro, I'm tired of this woohoo nonsense. Oh, I got one. I got one JD. Oh my god. Wait, I got cooked. It's 1 1. Okay, listen. As soon as I figure out a way to deal with woohoo, it's over. As soon as I, as soon as I figure out what I'm doing, did I just move my thing to the wrong side? Bro, I don't know what to do. Bro, what do I do about woohoo? What do I do? <laughs> woohoo! Well, I don't know what to do about woohoo! Alright. Oh, JD and guard cancel? That's a good idea. I, I, I failed that. That's unsafe. I'm sorry. Bro, my super keeps getting owned. Okay, that helps. Okay, okay, I'm still alive. Why am I trying to challenge that move? And why is my DP losing to it? Bro, I'm gonna freaking I'm gonna lose my gourd. Get out of the skies. Okay, miracle. Let's go. Easiest dub of my life. Wasn't even worried for a second, guys. Wasn't even worried for a second. 
DP is not invincible? That's wrong. It is invincible, right? On startup. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. GGs, GGs. I wasn't even worried. I wasn't even worried, guys. We just beat the woohoo, and that's all you got to do. Missed a lot of my confirms. Great tip, great tip. I'll keep that in mind. Power dunk isn't a true DP. It's invincible, right? On startup. On startup, it's invincible. All right, Serbot Frank versus Gundog. <laughs> Woohoo! Guys, I, I got sent to freaking Woohoo Island. That was crazy, man. Use flash kick. Guys, you can't backseat me if you don't even know what moves the character has, guys. You can't. <laughs> don't backseat in the chat if you don't know what is on my character's move list, okay? Oh my god, look at this. What did I just walk into? Bro, this is the ultimate Chad battle right here. Oh my god, the explosion. No punish! What did they, bro? What is bro cooking? They are building meter. Oh my god! Look at his bar go up. That's so crazy. Bro, he's cooking. This is the gentleman's agreement. Gentleman's agreement to get full meter. I respect it. Ooh, the three piece. Oh, this this is a classic song. This song's in KO at fifteen, right? Yo, time out? Serbot Frank takes the time out? It's because they wasted so much time building max meter. The, the, the light attack sound effect is so good. What was that damage? My mind is blown. Oh, he's too solid, Snake. <laughs> Yo, the crawl is killing me. Yeah, trying to find woohoo. Ooh, Frank takes game one. You know the nice, the nice thing is in in top tier mirror matches like this, whoever loses, we win. Am I right, gamers? Whoever loses, we win. Wow, this is loser side too. Holy cow. That's crazy. Oh, they're cooking. Oh, they're cooking. <laughs> My eyes. I'm going to have a seizure. Bro, guys, you're going to have another timeout. <laughs> Please. Please. I think they're lagging the game too. That walk forward was so intense. Ooh, big three piece. Not even a real combo. <laughs> That's so much damage. 
<laughs> that is so much damage, bro. Uh, jo Justin's gonna pick up the game when he sees that meter build. No, but for real though, it's like Chun Li like whiffing fierce on crack, bro. It's insane. Oh, not the solid snake. That's got to be the funniest move in the game, right? Bro. Bro. <laughs> Ooh, nice ant. You gonna combo off that? Ooh, <laughs> the damn. I'm like, I'm just seeing new stuff every round, man. And there's the solid snake. Oh! But this is an old game. Never mind. I was about to say this is an old game, so it should give a point to nobody, right? But that's not what happened. It gave Gundog the game. That's crazy. In Street Fighter, when that happens, it just ignores the draw game. Right? In old ones. In new ones, it works like that, where if you're up around and then it's a draw, the person who is up around wins, which I personally hate. Cause it's like anti, it's like anti fun. It's anti fun to win on a draw. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> Bro. Somehow this has been like the most degenerate match of the tournament so far. I guess it makes sense. Bro, that helicopter. It's not looking very stable. I would be careful. Ooh. Ah, B. It's somehow it's match point gun dog. Somehow things have completely turned around. Br not this. Not not the dance. Not the tea bag. The taunt. Now, does taunting take away the opponent's meter in this game? I seem to recall that being a thing. Or am I thinking of something else? Yeah, able crouching forward. So true, so true. Oh my god. The uncombo. He said, Hoo. Oh my god. The reverse. Bro, so, when he does that, you can just get whatever you want there? That's cursed, bro. All right, Gundog takes it. Sad stuff for Surbot Frank going home. Oh God, I'm up next again. It's me versus PK Blue. Where's that guy at? <laughs> Gundog called that the worst streamed match of all time. Listen, it was something. It was something. All right, let's go. Can I continue my losers round, my losers bracket run here? We are after this. We are officially in top eight. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to appease the backseaters on this one, guys. Oh no, it's it's this little wiener, bro. This guy looks so goofy. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go raw. Yeah, just. <laughs> okay, well, that move I'm not ready for. That's going to be a problem. Okay, might not be ready for the flash kick or the, uh. Ooh, that killed? That did like infinity damage. Wait, why did that do so much? I guess because he was in that bonus thing. I really want to bait that teleport now that I know it's so punishable. Uh-oh, guys. I might be getting knowledge checked. Uh, explain. OK. 
Okay, that felt good. Bro, how does he avoid my attacks like that? Is it because of Slide? Is Slide just going under everything? <laughs> he, he's making my attacks whiff on, on his wake up. What's up with that? All right. Bro. That was insane. Bust a wolf. All right. Stand up. Bro, I'm try. I'm just trying to find a gap, please. I think that hit on the back too. Bro, this goofy ah character, bro. <laughs> what is this guy doing? The damage is insane. Bro, we're in there. We're in there. It's 1-1. One, one. How am I getting rolled by a guy holding up for it? I don't know. Built different, I guess. Uh, excuse me? Alright, I guess we re-challenge. It's 1-1. One, one. I did not win that one yet. First, first to one, all the marbles. PK Blue, accept please. Rejected? Okay. Understandable. Oh, I think their computer must have crashed or something. Because I don't see them as online anymore. What happened? I'll restart fight, Cade. Dude, exactly. The honest footsies that Garo is known for. That's what I'm saying, man. These people out here don't get... Okay, there he is. Okay. Okay, okay. First to, first to one, all the marbles. All right, first of one. We got this, bro. Oops, I keep putting the thing at the bottom, which I don't really mean to. Ow. Now it's laggy. Oh, that's not good. No! Holy cow. No! Oh, I'm 
a genius. Okay, let's go. Let's go. How? Bro, wake up throw is wrecking me. Guys, I mean, what can I say? Download complete. Download complete. GG's. 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 Okay, maybe maybe not actually download complete, but okay, I did I did a little bit better there. I did a little bit better. All right, next up is Teresa versus Gundog. We are, I, guys, I made top eight. Let it be known. You guys were saying, I don't know how to play. I, I'm, I'm about to get completely destroyed by audios right after this, but I did, I did get top eight. Because audios is the one playing the Rugal guy, right? That's going to be a problem for me. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be perfectly honest. All right, Gundog versus Teresa. Oh wait, no, Worm is the one playing the Rugal guy. Who's Audio's playing? All right. I mean, guys, full bias. I want to see the grappler win. Full bias time. The back seating helped make make me angry, so I would win. So true. Bro. Ooh, anti -airs. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Gundog might know some stuff here. Okay, oh. Come on, let's go, Teresa. <laughs> I want the low tier to win. No, guys, I just, I must root for the grappler. Versus the top tier? Come on. Look up strats to take on Kevin. I don't think it's going to help. I think I might be cooked either way. Yeah, I'm not sure if grab is, like instant like in street fighter 2 like if it beats meaties i don't actually know bro the griffin dude the announcer in this game sounds pretty serious man the griffin Kevin versus the Griffin. Wake up those do beat meaties. Wow. That explains a lot. Bro, the rushdown. The RTSD. Let's go, Griffin. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. So sad. Does Griffin have a 720 super? That would be pretty hype. Let's go. I've never seen that move before, but it was sick. But it might not matter. Match point gun dog. Mm, a lot of supers are zero frames too. Oh yeah. Whoa. Bro, that move that move looks sick. Hell yeah, I would just do it again too. Brother, the damage. Oh, and that was a cross-up? That's cursed. Okay, we got a punish. Oh, we got another one. Okay, but how are you going to make him sit still? No such luck. That's tough. GG's. Gundog moves on.
and guys, this is the crazy thing. It's me, it's me again. It's me versus audios. Let's see if I can continue the run. I'm up to like three wins in a row. <laughs> Girl boss too close to the sun. I mean, listen, we just want to see a Griffin cook. But to be honest, top eight with the Griffin, pretty good. Pretty good result. Can't be mad at that. Oh, Audios was the rock player. So this is like lore match. All right. Okay, twinsies. No, I missed my DP. Uh oh. Don't lose to the bottom tier. I'm trying. I'm trying. What? That was crazy. Nice one. Wow, we traded though. Lucky me. You, you guys, I believe, okay? I really, really believe right there. I, I really, truly believe. All right, all right, all right. Crack shoot's not that bad, because it's safe. And it's overhead. Nice one. I'll just let it rip. See? There you go. Let's go. Oh my god, the damage. Okay, good block on that. Oh, zero frame super. Okay, good bait. Wait a minute. I'm getting I'm getting debated. All right, one one. One one. The challenger. The challenger. Round one. All right. You know, that was a good one. Let's go. Oh, good one. Nice 
Mm. Rising Taco. Oh, good bait. All right, I went a little ham. I went a little ham, but it worked out. GG's, GG's. Whew. Guys, we continue. We continue to cook. At this rate, I might make top three. I might, I might just make top three right here. Let's go. Wait, crack shoot's not safe? Sure, you can wiki said it was safe on block. Well, it, it from most ranges, I think. Listen, Tebs, you're not allowed to backseat because you already lost. <laughs> That's just a rule. No, no backseating if you got eliminated from the tournament before me. All right, perfect versus worm. This should be a good one. Worm is the one... Wait, Perfect is playing some other guy. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. It's Pabongus versus Mixtape. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't bait you. Pabongus versus Mixtape. All right. Round one. Fight. All right, so Pabongus is the one who sent me to losers with this accursed boss character. But Mixtape definitely had some knowledge checks going. I think the point of crack shoot is to be an overhead and to be a semi safe block string ender from the right range. But I know I, I need to be doing Rekka to end block strings, but I keep missing the input. Bro, people are not ready for that. Yeah, B crack shoot's only minus two. It's safe. Why are, why are people trying to backseat me? Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta avoid that. They're both learning each other's knowledge checks in real time. Ooh, yo, that is a sick super. Whoa. She kind of uh, overly committed to that. Nice bait. See, that move, I still don't understand that move. Is that move really plus? Hey! Oh my god, zero seconds. Bro. Dude, I mean, I'm telling you, man. This boss character is tearing through. Round one. Fight. Udabuki. Cute birds. Dude, that that is such a that that's like a geese Howard sweep right there. I feel like you can see so much inspiration from all the characters. But who is Grant? Who Whose mans is this? Does anyone else feel like it's kind of hard to tell when the round ended or if they still have a pixel? I'm always like, wait, did that actually kill or did that just knock down and they're on magic pixel? Rabuki, Rabuki. Ooh, top in. Oh my god. That sucks. The stanky leg beat the super clean. Alright, mixtape is avoiding that move now, which is smart. Minus two is safe, but at some ranges it gets blown up by zero frame super. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Grant wins. 
Grant is Kane's bodyguard. Oh. So he's like he's like Nappa, where he's like, I'm not even like the most badass guy. There's like another guy even more badass. Oh what who has that move? That like crouching heavy punch or whatever move that Hotaru's doing? There's another character that has like that exact move. I can't place it. Rebuki. Yeah, he's going back to the home planet for real, though. Oh, my God. Well, it landed. Demonetization station. Oh, my God. That dive kick is cursed. I feel like the, the tech, roll, tech roll situation in this game is always a little bit confusing. It's always like, okay, well, what side am I going to be on? Like him, me. Oh, my God. Timeout. She was still fighting after the timeout, but it didn't matter. Papungus takes it. That is not a pleasant way to get sent to losers. All right. Now, for real, for real, it's perfect versus Wormy. Grant doesn't have a single cancelable normal. That's interesting. I mean... Why would you need it? Just do special moves raw. Dude, that, that super is out of pocket, man. That super is crazy. This is a family stream. He can cancel in the air and a dive kick. True, true. So true. All right, perfect versus war. This is the match I've been waiting for. I feel like this has to be one of the matches of the night, right? Gotta be. Gotta be. All right, here we go. Grant can't faint cancel. Oh, that's kind of sad. I feel like faint canceling is like the most fun thing in the game. All right. All right, let's see. I mean, Worm has been looking nigh unbeatable, dare I say. But Perfect Orange always gets some good grinding timing. Oh, and see, the double jump is tricky, man. Shadow Flame. Dude, the way that the shuriken bounces on the ground is so funny. Like the the like three D rendered stuff looks really out of place, but it also looks cool. Oh, look at the chombo! A little bit unfortunate though. Ooh, yeah, the double yump in. <laughs> Meteors in ass. Oh yeah, you better punish that. Dude, he does like the Evangelion kick, like. I know there's another word for that. It's also like the common rider kick, right? Round two. Round two. Shadow flame. Shadow flame. Bro, that super is so funny. Wait, every character has a break on their DP? Oh, I thought it was a Terry unique thing. Shadow Flame. Yo, oh, see, there it was, I think. I think we just saw it in action. So that must have been what Perfect was trying to do earlier. Oh my god, that super does a lot. That super does a lot, bro. Dude, the double jumps are, like, so deceptive. Ooh, 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 look at the pressure. Thrown into the corner, though. And the super gets baited, but no punish. And that was a cross-up. That was so cursed. That was so cursed. Shadow Flame. 
Oh my god, the anti air. Bro. This is sick. Yo, this character really looks like an anime boss. Oh my god. I feel like in lore. Perfect actually takes game one. In lore, this has to be like the most imbalanced matchup ever. This is like hydrogen bomb versus coughing caffeinated baby. And yet. And yet. Dude, the multiple overheads. Shadow Flake. The three piece. What did he just say? Uh, break like on a car, like you stop it, like you stop the move midway through. Bro, Perfect is on match point, man. What Perfect is doing really well is saving that teleport for like when you least expect it. Because if you spam that move, it becomes really bad. Because I can just block and punish. But if you do it at just the right time. Oh my god. See, first you get him thinking about, oh, the double overhead, the nonsense, this and that. And then you just pull out the teleport. Who? Okay. Reversal. Oh, there it is. And it got baited. Tiny punish, but not enough. Perfect. Takes it. Wow. I did not see that coming. Well played. Now, if you guys can believe it, it's me again. It's me versus Vic God. I do not want to fight this little this little head stomper character, bro. I'm about to get tilted. I'm about to get tilted. This is the first losers semis match of the day. But maybe if I just power dunk a lot, it'll be fine, right? Surely? What's this? This is this is not. Is it because mixtape saw me lose to the the Yuhu? Mixtape saw me get sent to Wuhu Island, so now I'm gonna have to deal with this. Okay, seems like a bad idea to throw fireballs in this matchup. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. First of all, bro, where's my life bar? That hit cross up, I believe. Okay, mistakes were made. That was an accidental input. Bro, I can't deal with the woohoo. I can't deal with the woohoo. Mixtape was right. No, not the not the one piece crew coming in. Okay. Woohoo! Why do I throw a fireball, bro? It doesn't make sense. She could just jump over it from anywhere. Holy cow, what a trade. Holy cow, that counter hit me. It's fine. Bro, am I dead? I'm so, I'm so salty. I'm so salty. Okay. Jump. 
<laughs> she avoided it. Dude, Rekka input is not as easy as you would think to do out of a crouching move. Let's go. I'm in there. Oh, I should have known. That's not good. My life bar. Yo. You know, if I had broke it, if I had done break there, I would have looked really smart. But instead, I didn't, and I just died. GG's. GG's, guys. I didn't know how to deal with woohoo. Guys, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know how to beat Woohoo. It was too strong. GG's. All right, it's Wormy versus Gundog. Guys, listen, we made top six at least. I made top six. I'll take it. What's my final record? One, two, three, three, two. Positive win loss record. Can I take that to the bank, guys? Take a drink every time she woohoo. The back seating in this tournament is wild. Yeah, I mean, that happens like anytime it's like, oh my god. I actually, I was raging so bad after that, I just closed Fight Kate altogether. Anytime it's like a, like a less popular game, there's always back seaters because people are like, bro, I play this game all the time. Check it out. Just do, guys, you should do Rising Tackle with Terry. Why aren't you doing that move? All right. Wormy versus Gundog. But see, the nice thing is now I can take my I can take the stick off my lap. All right. Oh, bro. I I think this has been the most fun character to watch for me is Kane. The, I I think if we ever play this game again, I'm gonna try to learn Kane. He looks like my type of character. I like projectiles. Shadow Flame. Terry's DP is an invul. Well, that's why you do Rising Tackle, Sir Bob Frank. Just do, just do Rising Tackle, right? I, I think the answer to Woohoo is you have to IB and guard cancel, but I'm not quite able to do that. Yo, he's he's solid snaking right now. <laughs> That's so sick. Bro, this character is so cool. But you don't have to just defend all three hits, right? You just have to do one hit into an invincible move, right? Yeah, I like charge characters. Shadow Flame. Yeah, Worm is cooking, man, for sure. Oh, that's so disrespectful. That's so disrespectful. The wiki has really conflicting info for some characters. The, the, the wiki for this game, it does a thing that I really don't like. Where it'll have a move and it'll be like, yeah, there's not really a use for this move. Which, like, is almost never true. Like, you can say that the move is not that good, but when they're like, yeah, this is this move, you know, you'll, you, there, there's pretty much no reason to use this move. I'm like, well, that's, that's a lie. Like, every time they say that, there is a reason. It's just, you know, not that good. 
as other moves, you know. All right, Gundog's fighting back. Like, they say there's no reason to use um, the knuckle with Terry, but I think that's wrong. There's definitely cases where that move is good. But yeah, obviously, wikis are made by volunteers, so I understand that they're not going to be entirely cohesive or, like, perfectly made. But yeah, it's just a pet peeve of mine when, when wikis say, like, don't use this move. Oh my god! That's super. Final round. Yeah, Kevin has been looking pretty good all tournament, but this Kane, though. Kane's keeping people out. <laughs> the solid snake crawl is too good. Colonel. I'm trying to get past the zoning, but the clap of my ass cheeks is increasing my defensive hurt box. Bruh. Bruh. Oh. Yo. What the, what the heck was that? How did I just follow him around the screen? That's crazy. Okay. Okay. Instant. Instant alt F4. GG. GG. All right. It's top three time, guys. Pabungus versus Perfect Orange. Winners finals. Bana bana ba bana bana. I mean, the thing is, Perfect Orange beat. Beat Worm, who is looking pretty OP right now. So Perfect might actually be in a good position to win the tournament. We'll see. All right. <gasps> okay, we're in there. Yeah, people have struggled against Grant all day, but I've seen Perfect has been in like lobbies with like random players like a lot. So maybe Perfect will have matchup experience. So far, I don't think anyone has really known the matchup. Bro, buddy. Yeah, Kane and City of the Wolves. I'm really excited because I feel like the, the strongest part of City of the Wolves visually I think most people probably agree is like the the uh, like flames and like the particles and the effects. Uh, I think those look really awesome. And so a character who is like projectile focused, I think will look really, really cool. Oh my God, guard crush incoming. Oh my God, he's flashing. He's flashing. Oh my God. Okay, that was pretty cheap. Didn't even need the guard crush. Ooh, nice confirm. Yeah, perfect is looking locked in. Oh, and that baits the super. This kills the crab. Oh my god. And got the DP break confirm. What a combo. Oh my god. Ooh, okay, going through the projectile, but this life lead is tough. Yeah, that's tough. Game one, perfect. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, big damage, though. Big Let's go. Big dive kick. Oh, big overhead. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, the combos. We're still seeing new stuff here, man. Oh, my God.
ooh, 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 ooh. Nice DP. Bro, the sprites are just so good. Like, for some reason, I was just looking at it and I was like, holy cow, Grant looks crazy cool. Wow. The neutral jump. Oh, get that counter hit confirmed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice little interrupt there, but doesn't matter, man. Multiple overheads. Look at the combo. That is... Why did that do infinity damage? That was insane. I can't. Bro. Oh, yeah. Double overhead. Huge life lead here for Pabungus, but perfect is dealing extra damage. Oh, let's go. Yeah, you can see it right there. A lot of meter for Pabungus, though. That could make the difference here, or it might not. Oh, look at the full screen run. Oh, double overhead. Yo, perfect is looking locked in right now. So perfect is going to be waiting in grand finals. Now we get Pabungus. Oh, wait, no, it's... Wormy versus Mixtape, loser semis. I lied when I said it was top three. It's actually uh, top four. The winner of this will finish in top three. Brother. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> uh, are anti airs trash in this game? Uh, it. It's a little hard to anti air. I think it might be better to like try to air to air or like do something preemptive because there's hopping as well. So it's like it's a little tricky, a little tricky. And you can you can IB too. So it might be dangerous to do like anti air DP. Ba -ba -da -da -da. All right. Worm versus mixtape. Let's see. Can worm deal with the woohoo? The woohoo was looking pretty strong. Shadow frame. Ooh, trying to get that up angle to stop the woohoo. Look at that dash up throw. Hi ho! Woohoo! Can we get some woohoos in the chat? Okay, nice. Stop the woohoo in his tracks. Dude, damage is so high in this game. It's outrageous. Ooh, the tick throw. Nice, JD. Getting health back. Wait a minute. Mixtape can still do this. The trade. But on the bright side, Kane used all his meter on that one. So Mixtape still has a ton of meter to play with here. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. It's Shadow. Shadow. Bro, this cane is looking a little bit crazy, man. And full meter now. Shadow flame. Yahoo, brother. Oh, brother, this character's cheap, bro. Uh, I don't know how big the window is for JD, but third strike parry is like 10 frames, right? A sixth of a second. But the other thing is that if you miss a JD in this game, 50% of the time you're going to block it, you know? If you were too late for the JD, you'll get hit. But yeah, if you JD too early, you'll just block. So it's not so bad. She said, yeah. 
What was that? Full screen super. That actually hit? So the mixtape has gone from, from woohoo to the head stomper. But is it going to help? This character reminds me a lot of Athena. Like the backdash animation and... But she has Chun-Li Fireball, I guess. Oh, what are you going to do about... Right as I said, what are you going to do about this? He just reflects it? It's match point, though. Shadow Flame. Shadow Flame. Wow, reverse DP going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. But I wish I could figure out what move that reminds me of. I think it's her 2C. It reminds me so much of a different character, but I can't place it. Uh, JD is just defend, which is like if you block at the last second, you get health back. Ooh, nice. Look away, children. Oh my god, that killed. That killed. Mixtape still in it. Oh, that is actually insane. That worm actually dealt with the head stomp so easily. That's not good. For mixtape. Though, mixtape looking good this round. Got plenty of meter. Still powered up. Oh my god, that killed. The damage buff, it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, wait just a minute. ba ba da ba da <laughs> All right, let's go. It's so intense with, with both players starting in top. It's so intense. Yeah. What a Oof. Ooh. Okay, managed to avoid the up fireball. Falk? I could see it. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. Ooh. Ooh. The anti air. Oh, she's on a pixel. She's on a pixel, avoided the fireball, but... Okay, match point, I'm Worm. Match point, I'm Worm. Yeah! Yo. This wall of projectiles is crazy, but the damage, though... You can block so much and then just do way more damage with two hits. Oh no, that's unfortunate. I think he might have been trying to JD. Oh, it worked. Don't watch. Not again. Getting hit by two of those in the same round. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt, bro. We hate to see it. All right. Now it's losers finals. Worm versus Pabungus. <laughs> I feel like this this might be like the saltiest tournament we've had in terms of like people getting mad in the Discord after. This might be the saltiest one. I wonder why that is. All right. Pabongus versus the worm.
This game is garbage, by the way. This is what I'm saying, man. The salt is real. That's how I felt when I lost, too. Because I just lost a woohoo. I just lost to a bunch of woohoo. Are we cool with that? That's the type of game we're trying to play? Oh, nice, Anthea. So we got the top is in the middle for Grant here. I don't really know the strategic decision there, but... Oh, no. Oh no, we're getting we're getting shadow flame, shadow flame. It's funny because we've had a few people in stream chat be like, "Are you gonna do this game again?" And now I'm, <laughs> I think the, the Discord might revolt if we do it again. I mean, it's been fun, but it's felt really bad for everyone to lose for sure. But one thing I've definitely felt about this game, don't you guys feel like every character is so different? Like every character is so different. So like every matchup almost feels like playing a different game, you know? It's crazy. And there's a lot of knowledge checks for sure. Oh, nice! Good punish, but reversal. <laughs> Alright, top in now for Grant. Just trying to get out the corner. No way, that was so good. Oh my god. Oh, just a little late on the super. So unfortunate. Straight in the tie. Oh, no. It's match point worm. It's match point worm. Oh, the damage. Oh, no. Okay. DP, but DP right back. Okay. Reversal super. Huge damage. Bro. This is really just letting him rip, huh? Oof. Wow. Well played. Well played, Plabungus. But Worm is going to go to Grand Finals for the run back here. It's going to be Worm versus Perfect Orange. And it is going to be first to three, I believe. And considering this is double elimination, Worm is going to have to win two sets. Two sets to make it out of this bad boy. So let's see it. Yo, the, the, chat is, the chat is uniting, or the Discord, I should say. Discord is uniting against Worm. People are not happy at the projectiles, I guess. Which, fair. Oh, do rising tackle. All right, next time I'll remember that. I'll remember that. Bro, actually, the whole time I was just thinking like, bro, if I if, if Terry had rising tackle in this game, my life would be a lot easier. Because <laughs> that was the big thing I was struggling with was aerial moves, like the whole tournament. Like for, first, um, first against what's his name, that mask guy, and then against BJN. A. A aerial moves were kind of destroying me. So if I had if I had rising tackle, I would have been good to go. Oh yeah, uh, we got Kane and the little guy, Hokutomaru. So these, but actually, weren't both these players the only people in tournament playing these characters? Isn't that true? Weren't these the the specialists? Oh my God, nice combo already. That was a miracle block. How the hell? Ooh, trying to teleport. There's a lot of cool cars in this game. Wait, are we in London? Why is there a double-decker bus? But there's yellow taxis, like it's New York. I'm not going to question it. Oh, empty jump throw. Nasty. Perfect. Still pulling out new mix-ups here in Grand Finals.
Oh my god. Okay. Perfect is in. What is that move? Ooh, a little whiffing action. It's so funny, like, all of a sudden it just seems so hard for a high uh for Kane to get any space. Oh no. Oh no, it's okay though, raw super. Raw super. There's double decker tourist buses in New York. Oh, for real? My bad, my bad. I thought that was like a London bus. Sing the Marvel 2 theme. Gonna take you for a ride. <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. I like the, why does someone have a scooter on top of a car? What's that about too? Is that what they is that what they mean by like a like a 10 car pile up like they're literally piled up? <laughs> Bro, are we going to timeout? This is looking pretty tough for perfect cuz very limited amount of time. Look, even with that, is not enough. Worm takes game one. It's so funny that you can keep attacking, but it won't do any damage. All right. It was funny, like, all the matches went really, really fast until Kane. I feel like Kane is kind of slowing things down. He wants the game to go at his pace. Oh my god, look at the cancels. But you know what I will say about this game being so salty? Every, everyone who's lost has been really upset. In a way, I would kind of argue that that is a good thing. Because people, I feel like people were invested. People were invested. They wanted, you know, they, they wanted to perform. And so losing felt bad. Oof. That's crazy how safe that is. That's absurd. Are any of you guys brave enough to try to JD that? <laughs> oh my god, that killed. Wow, Worm is really cooking. I actually, I love state. Like, I don't know how many references there are on this stage. Like, I think I see Mai in the back. And is that Terry there on the left? Yeah, on the Fatal Fury ad. Anyway, I, I like stages like this where there's like a bunch of reference NPCs and stuff. Like, the best one ever is probably Ken stage and Alpha. That is so hyped, dude. Next TFT stream. I'll have to find an excuse. There's a new set that I've like barely played. Look, I think that guy there is Guile. Don't you guys think? <laughs> I just see like a swath of yellow hair. I think that's Guile. Or, or is Paul from Tekken. Oh, this is Southtown. It's not New York. My bad, my bad. That's, that's Terry's hometown, right? Ooh. A lot of timeouts. This is the zoner lifestyle. Ooh, the rush down. Now you're in the corner. What you gonna do now? Okay, you're just gonna get out of the corner. That's fine too. Big sweep. Super baited, but it appears to be safe. Maybe you can like throw him or something before the super comes out. The perfect has begun to cook. Somebody cooked here. Oh, good attempt. That was so much damn dude. The top thing makes such a big difference. It makes such a big difference. Alright. Now we're on the epic stage.
home field advantage here for Kane. Shadow Flame. Shadow Flame. Ooh, the cancels, the pressure. Oh, Perfect's hands are looking warm now. Oh my gourd. And reminder that Perfect is on winner's side. So Worm is at the disadvantage here in terms of sets. Oh yeah. Teleport Dio. Mm, nice one. Ooh, ooh. Nice air throw. Oh, that's not a good trade, though. Chip becoming a factor. Oh, avoided it. And another clutch JD. Yo, if Perfect wins this round, Perfect is goaded. Perfect is goaded. That, that was the most insane round. Bro. Bro. That that was too much. Ooh, ooh, the confirm as well. Oh, double overhead. Okay, we got a block, but no pun. A lot of people have had trouble punishing that teleport because you have to dash up first. It makes it a little awkward. Bro, the pressure is so real with the feints and everything. Oh, nice air to... Guys, it's tournament point right now. Tournament point. Get ready to speak Portuguese, buddy, because Perfect is on a roll. Ooh. I'm Worm doesn't want to go down without a fight. Teleport, Dio. Good punish. Huh, huh, huh. Five piece. Wow, actually got a true punish there too. Tons of meter for both players, so the damage potential is real. Perfect is in tops right now. Still has a tiny bit of tops. Good JD to get some health back. And doesn't this character have like the most broken super ever in tops? It's fine though. Just block it out. Still got one bar to work with. Trapped in the corner. Oh, the walk up throw. Okay. Still tournament point for Perfect Orange. Ooh, teleport, Dio. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, go for resets. Ooh, ooh. I think trying to do DP break for the super follow-up makes sense. Ooh, there's the reset into throw. Good block on the double overhead. Getting out of the corner as well. Chance here for I'm Worm. Oh, that's a lot of chip. Teleport is going to put it away. Perfect Orange takes it. I got to say, man. Very deserved win. Perfect was on the grind. And I think it showed, man. It showed big time. Woo, lads. Woo, lad. That was intense. You know, th this was actually a really fun tournament. It took... Th the allotted three hours that we planned almost two and a half but it felt fast doesn't it feel like this tournament was over in like 30 minutes that was crazy by god as as god is my witness he is broken in half holy cow shout outs to all the competitors man some of you guys i could tell were really grinding it was really good shout outs to moonin for organizing things, running the tournament, as always, putting in all the hard work behind the scenes. I just roll up and, and scream into the microphone. He does all the hard work. And uh, next month, there will not be a JM Cup because of Combo Breaker. But there will be a Fightcade Frenzy on the 17th. The 17th of May, we will have a Fightcade Frenzy, which if you don't know, 
It's a random fight cave game. No one knows what it's going to be. We're all going to have to learn on the fly. So we're doing that the 17th. If you want to join, join the Discord. Discord Premium is the way to get in or Patreon or uh, YouTube membership. All those things. Five bucks a month and you get into our super secret premium where you can enter the tournament. So I think that's going to be it for the stream, man. I don't have much else to say. Thank you all for tuning in. Viewership was actually really high today. We were we were over 500 concurrent for a lot of the stream, which is amazing for a game this old. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. The Garu community came through. Even though I was joking about the backseating, I actually really do appreciate you guys. So that's going to be it for the stream. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.